pretties it's angela here and today i have an unboxing of a haul that i bought from nina with hole in the wall bees she's on facebook um i will put a link to her facebook page down in the description box below if you want to go ahead and check out her page she has some really really cool awesome finds um that she destashes and she does sales um all the time in her group so um definitely check out the link below Click on her group and join her Facebook group so that you can see her future sales. Um, she posts an album. She does live sales. She has some beautiful cabs if you're into, into doing like bead embroidery or wire wrapping. Um, just a whole bunch of assortments of stuff. And so I, had, I went a little crazy this time. Um, this is two orders put together. And so um, I'm going to kind of move things off. As you can see, she wraps things very, very well. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and put these wrapped ones off to the side. And we'll cut into those in just a minute. But um, let's see. So in this bag, and I like how she labels everything as to what they were, like what I paid for them. Although I probably don't need to be reminded. <laughs> <laughs> of the amount of money I've spent <laughs> but that's okay so all of these little bags um, that was in here were two dollars a bag so everything that was in here was two dollars a piece so this little bag of um, some vintage brass pieces this was two dollars and these are really cool I thought they would be neat to um, either bead embroidery on or dangle things from the bottom and make some really cool earrings um i just thought they were different and unique and i love looking for unique things to try to incorporate into jewelry making so for two dollars for that whole bag i thought it was a really good price okay so we'll go ahead and put that off to the side now i believe all of these bigger bees were two dollars a piece um and so these are like the african brass beads and silver like the metal beads um, that you use in like the tribal jewelry so i got a handful of those and i think those are really neat i like to do the stretch bracelets and use one of these like as the centerpiece um, or a big big focal like that in the middle so these are really cool i like those a lot um these are some little i thought these were cool just because it's like that rainbow titanium kind of colored metal and they are some little um metal pieces and they got holes in the top so i thought these would be really pretty for like a fun um, mermaid theme bracelet or a charm bracelet they kind of remind me of scales i thought those were cute all right and then i got these this bag of ceramic beads i thought these were really pretty and these reminded me kind of christmasy colors the red and the green i thought they would make pretty christmas earrings now, they may get used for other things as well, but when I first saw them, that was my initial thought on them, was, ooh, Christmas colors. <laughs> All right, then I picked up these little guys. I think these are so cute. These are cinnabar little elephant beads. And I'm a sucker for animal beads. I love anything with the little animals. And these are really, really cute, the elephants. Those are adorable. I can see a pair of earrings and a stretch bracelet with these scattered around them. All right, and then I picked these up. This was a pair of earrings, and I just thought they were really pretty, just as is. I, I did for two dollars. I was like, "Well, those are really pretty." Let me see if I can get them out of the little bag. I say she was doing a sale of like uh, bead mixed different things. She was destashing out of her uh, garage. She's got tons and tons and tons of beautiful things. These are really, really pretty earrings. I like them just how they are. But I do like the fact that they have tons of little openings that you can beat around or hang things from. So I thought those were really cool. These I thought were very pretty. Um, they are like that Aurora Borealis. And I like the fact that I can make earrings with them. And they have the uh, connector at the bottom to dangle something. Look at how those are shining. Those are gorgeous. Those are absolutely beautiful definitely see earrings being made with those love those all right and then this was a bag just a bag of ceramic beads the whole bag was two bucks and i really like whoo 
You know, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't knock the camera or drop something. <laughs> Definitely don't want to drop my ceramic beads. That's really cool. Um, this is really, I, I want to put them down, but I think there was only, no, there are two of these in here. And I just, they're not the same color for earrings, but I think they're beautiful. I loved the hearts. Really, really like those a lot. These are some big honking ceramic beads. Great for focals. So cool. I thought that was a really good price for those as well. Two bucks. And then I did get another little bag of the Cinnabar um, beads. And these are in like a oblong shaped longer oval. And it almost has like a rose pattern on them. Those are really pretty as well. Get those back in the little baggie. Okay, then I bought these dice beads. So these were two fifty for the whole bag of the little dice beads, and I just thought they were unique and different. I like the turquoise color. Um, they have a couple of black, one blue, and one, and they have two greens. But I thought those were unique and different, so I picked up those that little bag of dice beads. Let's see what goodies are in here. These were these were all a dollar fifty a piece in this little bag. Okay, so these little beads, these were $1.50 a piece. I do love these big ones. I got two in silver and two in gold. Again, that's like the African tribal metal beads. So I love those. I have to put those in my um, tribal drawer. These were um, some green glass beads. I got a whole bunch of them. It's a really pretty color. It's almost like an olive color. And it's got like a foiling on the inside, so they're kind of shiny. Those are beautiful. I don't really have a lot of green in that color, and I thought those were really, really pretty. I like that foiling in them. So for the whole bag for $1.50, again, was great. All right. Then I got two little bags of the Evil Eye beads in the black and gold. Those are cute. Have two bags of those. Put those off to the side. Then this little bag, um, I have two things in here, and they were two fifty a piece. So we have a big, big, big focal piece. This would be beautiful for a necklace, or it would be really pretty as a lariat, the focal, and then have some a tassel hanging down, and ha or have a lariat wide necklace would be really pretty with that as a focal. Very nice. And then a strand of the Hishi, I don't know, I think these are coconut beads, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think it's the coconut beads. Those are really nice. This really, honestly, honest guy, I did not think this was going to be this huge. This is a huge piece of vintage brass, and I absolutely love it. Um... It is gorgeous. I paid nine dollars for it, and I had no idea it was going to be this large. I really didn't. Um, I, for some reason, I'm gonna have to check the weight of it, but I like to see if it's going to make any difference. I don't think it will, but because it's pretty heavy. But I'm thinking, oh, wouldn't this be a really beautiful fan pull? Like, I think it would be really cool at the end of the string for to pull, like, you know, your light, or just have it as a decorative one. But um, I really like that. I can't see myself wearing such a big piece, but you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could. I could maybe pull it off with the right outfit. But this is absolutely a stunning piece. Love that. I love, love, love it. All right, and then let's see. I have this bag is I have five pieces that were a dollar each. So each one of these bags are going to be a dollar. So I picked up some clasp, some S clasp. I'm sure you can see those through the bag. Some little hook clasp. Uh, these are little flower beads. Uh, not really beads, flower, um, metal flowers, and they have a hole in the middle. So that was a dollar for that little bag. Then I have some little heart charms. Some little heart charms in a um, brass color. These are some little cone caps. 
some little bead cones. And then this was um, a metal stamping piece. It's a little bit thin. Um, there's two of them though. And so these are a little bit large for earrings, unless you like really large earrings, but you can see it's kind of like the size of my palm. Um, but again, now these would make really nice fan pulls as well. You can put, add some crystals um, and put a clasp and use those as your light and fan pulls. That's a good idea. That's a really nice idea for those. Um, I'll, you can also use it as a pendant piece. You can also glue something in the middle of this and make it more decorative. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with these components. Those are nice, like those. And let's see, what were these? These were $3. These, again, this was kind of like that first thing I showed. They were really just different. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to use them, but I love different and unique, so I'm going to try to figure out something with that. Um, I can see putting an earring post up there, and they have a little hole, so maybe you could dangle something, a gemstone or a crystal or something in the middle of that. Um, maybe a bone bead or something, because it does look kind of tribal to me being that it's the brass and they're older pieces so again it's going to be kind of fun to work with those and see what I can come up with for that um what are these these were two dollars oh these I really like these these are earrings um and these are cool they're leaves and they are brass and on the back of the earring has a little loop down here so that you can dangle something from it. Hang, You know, you can cut it off if you just wanted to keep it as little leaf post earrings. I mean, they're really, really pretty if you just wanted to keep them really simple and just use them as the leaf earrings. But you have that option with that little um, loop at the bottom to dangle stuff from it. Really cool. like those a lot. All right, so now I'm going to get into these... I'm going to try to attempt to get into <laughs> these packages. Let's see. Like I said, Nina wraps extremely well. Uh, she takes care of her customers. She's very easy to work with, um, very easy to communicate with, and she's, she's really an awesome lady. Let's see. Um, so let me just, I know it might, might be making a little bit of noise, but I'm trying to cut it open to see. A little bit more. This fell off to the side. Okay, so let me get rid of this. All right, now these were $5 for three pieces. Again, it's more the um, African beads. She had one, one night, she was doing a live sale and she had these and I was just going crazy because I absolutely love these. But, and I can get my hands on some full strands and try to resell, but you know what? Sometimes it's just um, easier and I like to support other fellow bead people um and I don't need a whole strand of this type of style of beads so when I can support someone else and help them um make some sales and I get what I want and it helps them that's what it's all about to me so um I love these these are five dollars for the three pieces these are so adorable she's got some really great check glass pieces too um in her group and these are little elephants. It was a strand of elephants. I forgot how much those were. But um, I know they were reasonable. Probably like 2 or $3. Um, really, really cute. This is another bag that I got four pieces for $5. So it's like $1.25. And again, guys, believe me, these prices are really nice. Um, again, you don't have to buy a whole strand of the same thing. You can have a variety for what you would pay for a strand of the same bead. So... And like I said, you know, you support other fellow beaters um, that are doing sales. Those are really pretty. I like those a lot. I can see those definitely for earrings and also for a, almost like a little bracelet bar in, on a stretch bracelet. Very cool with some African beads. I really need to start writing down my ideas as I think about them. These are some, now I don't buy a whole lot of calves that are undrilled because, um, I don't know, I just, sometimes I don't really know what to do with them. But then, I do some bead embroidery, I haven't done it in a little while, but um, these were gorgeous. And I said, you know, you can just glue on a simple ear post 
And those are gorgeous earrings. I forgot. I don't know if these were blue opal, opal somethings. But anyway, those are gorgeous. And it was $5 for the pair of cabs. Oh, they're gorgeous. I really love those. Perfect size for a nice uh, earring, post earring. And these as well. These are malachite. And they are the cabs. And so I'm going to put a simple um, glue on with some E6000. A simple um, earring, earring backing. And have a pair of malachite earrings. These are these were five dollars as well for the three pieces of the silver triangle shaped beads. Okay, and then this one is drilled at the top. I believe yes, it is. Okay, it's drilled at the top. I'm pretty sure I thought it was drilled. No, it's just chipped a little bit up here. Um, no, so I thought this one was drilled. I guess I'm going to have to beat embroidery around this little sucker. <laughs> or you can wire wrap. Um, I'm still learning on my wire wrap. And, I'm, you know, I'm still not um, where I want to be with the wire wrap. But I may give that a try on this piece. Because this is really, really pretty. I think that um, if I did something just across the bottom and across the top and not hid the middle... Um, I could wear that as a beautiful pendant. That's really pretty purple chevron amethyst. And that was a nice big piece for $5. Very beautiful. All right, let me go ahead and try to cut into this one. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece is. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. And... Um, if you all are interested in joining my Facebook group, um, I will be having a sale um, October 8th, 9th, and 10th. So I will have the link for Nina's group down below as well as my Facebook group. If you would like to join, please join both. That would be wonderful. All right, guys. Let's see. I have a couple more pieces. I'm going to set these off to the side right quick and get to those in just a minute. And then this little bag of goodies I kind of cut into. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right. Um, I think these were like a dollar a strand. Um, she was doing a special on that night. And so these are the evil eye beads. And I got the red and the blue and the yellow. The yellow is a smaller strand, a little bit smaller size. And I also, this was a dollar. I got a little chip bead bracelet, the um, amethyst chip bead bracelet. Okay, so I got those little goodies. Um, I'm a sucker for dollar sales. I love anything that's, you know, reasonable. We all do. We like those dollar deals. Um, I will have some of those dollar deals in my group as well this weekend. Um, coming up on, in October, the first weekend. These are really cool. These are very thin. But again, these are really nice to glue something into the middle and embellish and make them into really beautiful pieces of art. Um, and th there was three pieces in this little bag for a dollar. So that's really cool. I love the filigree pieces like that too, um, embellish and make them something totally different. Okay, and then this piece was a dollar as well. She had some of these. I thought it was really pretty. I can see gluing um, a crystal here, right there in the middle. Really nice. This is a solid piece that's really pretty. And then um, this was another piece she had for a dollar to cross with the Florida Lees. I live here in Louisiana and our symbol is the Florida Lee. So, of course, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I have to have that. <laughs> and then these, um, I don't remember. I, I guess they were a dollar a piece. Um, I can't remember. I bought so much stuff. But these are like the smaller size of the tribal um, beads. And so I have a whole handful of those. So let me put them in another bag since I kind of cut that one. that up there and um then she was doing these for a dollar as well these are some just some glass um pendants and you know i'm a sucker for blue so this one has the black and goldish background and then this one has the white with the gold glitter in the background and then this was a beautiful piece of i believe this is agate it's an agate bead and it was like a dollar so i just thought it was really pretty i gotta get that sticker off of there um yeah, so I'll have to soak that and get that sticker off of there. Alright, next one. 
Oh goodness, more metal. <laughs> this little bag was, let's see, these, these were $3, but it's a whole bag full of brass metal, like spacer, you can use them as spacers. Um, and this was a nice big brass focal. guys let's see this was a nice pretty drilled mother of pearl pendant as a focal bead and it has the silver flower in that one and then i got a bag of sugar skulls check glass in the red and black these are the moon faces these are real pretty iridescent i'm just taking those out so you can see those a little bit better those are really really pretty And what else do I have in here? Oh, I have some little, these are so pretty. I um, love, 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 love fluorite. And so they had, she had some little nine tail foxes and they do have little holes at the very top. So I'm gonna definitely make me a pair of earrings with the little nine tail foxes. I'm trying to get that to focus so you can see. But it's a beautiful fluorite. So I got those. And then she had some, turtles and you know that i call my boys my turtle and my frog but she didn't have any frogs but i do have the little turtles and i can either make these as charms and leave this on or take them off and make them into earrings so i got some little turtles she has some butterfly beads these do go from top to bottom the whole runs from the top to the bottom and so these would be really pretty earrings as well and then i don't know why i only got one but maybe there was only one left and i got a little angel a little fluorite angel I'm trying to get that to focus i thought i had got two of everything but it may have been that she just had the one left i'm not sure <laughs> all right and then let me open this one we got a couple more packages i see some more metal pieces these are beautiful as well this is the um vintage brass pieces and these were four dollars a piece they are very nice very weighty um i actually want to dangle beads from these and then i wanted to get one that was just a focal piece for a necklace without having anything dangled down from it so those are really nice heavy duty vintage antique brass pieces very happy to have those very hard to find that kind of stuff and then um I could not pass this up. This is so adorable. So, so adorable. Look at this. It's a little turtle and it's a bead. It, the hole runs through the little head. So I'm going to definitely make a little necklace out of him. So cute. All right. And then let's see. We Let open into this package. I have a feeling I'm cutting a bag of something. <laughs> Let's see. see if I can cut down the no. It's gonna be really hard to pick a favorite out of this bunch of business. Oh, these are okay. Now I am going to have to really think about this because I these were just beautiful and I, at first I was like oh I'll just put them in a little dish and I may still do that if I can't um bead embroidery but I, bead embroidery with them but these were jade leaves colored jade leaves and um they are so so pretty I got two of each color and like I said I may just get a really pretty little gem dish gemstone dish or something and put them all in there and just have a whole little dish full of the leaves but they're beautiful i love things like this um but i'm hoping to try to do some type of bead embroidery with them if not like i said i'm just gonna look at them because they're very very beautiful <laughs> love that little pile of leaves and then these were super pretty um i forgot how much these were they were really cheap they're like uh i think they were an acrylic and they have these little flowers painted on them. And um, 
Yeah, I thought these would be really pretty earrings. They don't have a hole in them, but I'm thinking that you could add like a piece of chain or just wire wrap a loop around it and connect the earring uh, component to the wire wrap. These are really, really pretty and I got two sets of those. All right, so that was those two orders. And then I'm looking up to the side of my desk and I have a small, I'm gonna show y'all. I have a small little package that just came in. Just a little small baby package. So we'll open that one up. That's from Nina too. Give me a second to pull it out. It's just this one little thing. Um, and I actually, I think I've ordered some more from her. I think I have another order that I need to, uh, finish out with her soon. Uh, she just keeps having these live sales and everything is just so cool and neat. And she's got some awesome stuff. So <laughs> I keep adding to it and then I'm like, okay, send that. And then I'll add to some more. <laughs> but, um, okay. So I think I'm trying to see if I have any offensive words. If I do, I'll try to say it before. Uh, this little bag was only a dollar, and it says love, love, love. It's little love charms on the heart. It says love all over it. So I thought those were cute. Um, I did get some little, some of the grubby beads that she sells. Um, let's see. This one says, this one's not offensive. This one says live, laugh, and love. This one is a beautiful owl. These are ceramic beads that are made by grubby beads. Okay, this was just what the hell. That one's not too bad. Some of them have, you know, the F word on it. And I know some people get offended by that. So I'll try to, uh, and then this one says shit could be worse. <laughs> so anyway, I love those. I uh, made me a bracelet and I, uh, with some of the grubby bees and I absolutely love it. <laughs> I wear it all the time, but it has a lot of the, um, the F word ones on it and I think they're hilarious but anyway I guess you know some people like I said get offended now this was cool and I didn't even know she had posted this and I saw it in her stash of goodness in one of her pictures I didn't know it was a domino but I saw this owl and I was like oh I, I was waiting and waiting and waiting for this owl piece to come up and then she was like oh and it's made on a domino and I'm like how freaking cool is that it's just different you know, it's just unique. Um, but I absolutely love owls. And so that was definitely one that I wanted to get. And I'm glad that I was able to get that one. And then this was $2. This is a, I believe a ceramic, yeah, ceramic piece. And I just thought it was a pretty little lotus flower. And then these were artisan beads. I can't tell you who the artist was because I really don't know. It was $7 for this bead, but it's a beautiful artisan made bead. And it's a peacock. And I just thought that the craftsmanship on that bead is really beautiful. Really, really pretty. And the whole run side to side. So that's going to make a really pretty focal piece for a necklace. Um, you could probably get away with it on a bracelet. If you want a chunkier bracelet, you could absolutely do that. So I'll have to decide what I want to do with that piece. But that is really, really pretty. I love that. And then this is super cool. I don't know if I can get it to change while I'm on while it's on camera, but this is a color changing pendant. And I have never owned one, but I have seen them before different places and um, never ordered myself one. And she had them and she had just a couple of them. And I was lucky enough to get one and it was the koi fish. And you can see it, I think you can see it starting to change colors in the background. So it's like a mood pendant, which is really awesome. I'll try to get, see if I can find um, a supplier and get some of these for my group. Because these are really awesome. Love that. And then I did buy a couple more strands of some artisan beads. Um, I forgot the name of the group she told me these came from. She had bought um, a bunch from someone that was doing... You know, getting rid of some stuff and so she was de-stashing them this this was twelve dollars for the strand and i know that seems pricey to some people and it just you have to take into account that these are all handmade and it is a process and you know it takes people time to make these artisan beads um whenever somebody takes their time you, you know to me you pay them for it but um and then these are 14 these were 14 dollars, but these are really beautiful as well they have some really pretty iridescent colors now i'm not going to tell you that i could go out and buy a 14 dollar strand of beads all the time because that's not in my budget but you know to just do that on a whim all the time but 
I did get these because to be honest, this strand, when she told me the company, um, oh gosh, I'm horrible with remembering names. Um, I went and looked up on their website and I want to say they were like 25 or $28 for a strand. So, I mean, it was like almost getting them for half price. So I said, I'll never own them at 20 something dollars for a strand for a few beads, but you know, it's a way to get something different. All right, so that is my haul for um, this time. And like I said, this is actually like probably, I think, three orders from Nina. Um, I am loving this. I am loving this uh, Peacock Artisan Bead. And of course, I'm loving all my metal stuff. This is awesome. This is just so neat and different. Um, I have lots of favorites in here. I mean, obviously, I picked all these out from her sale. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's some beautiful stuff here. So, if you would, let me know if you have a favorite. And, um, again, give me a big thumbs up. And click on subscribe if you haven't clicked on subscribe already. Check out Nina's group. I'm going to put it down below in the description box. And don't forget that I will be having a D-Stash sale this weekend coming up October 8th, 9th, and 10th. So, if you are not part of my Facebook group, I would love to have you over there and check out the sale. So, until the next video, guys. Bye!